Okay, when we're strapping fingers, sometimes it's necessary to buddy strap an injured finger to a non-injured finger. Now if we want to buddy strap index and middle finger, or ring finger and middle finger, or little finger and ring finger. As long as we miss the joints, so it allows it to bend, you can pretty much strap whichever combination you see. For this instance, we're going to, to strap the index finger to the middle finger. So we'll just take those guys out of the way. Just slightly split the fingers. What we need is some self-adhesive foam, just the thin. Place that just below the joint line and then just below the joint line of the other finger and get the athlete just to squeeze his fingers together. For this, we're going to use the really narrow, thin zinc oxide tape. Now, as a tip, I wouldn't try and do this with the tape on the roll because obviously you'll be trying to get through small gaps and it won't work. Okay, so just take enough off, tear it, start on one side of the joint, pull the fingers together, take it underneath, back over the top and stick it down, make sure it's stuck down well. Okay, so we're clearing the knuckles. Again, take the tape off the roll, start on the outside, clear the knuckle, just put a bit of a pressure on it, take it under, over the top and stick it down well. Okay, this way it allows us to bend, it's buddy strapped, just to make sure that you've not put it on too tight, you can do a pillow release, put a bit of pressure on the end of the fingers and they should refill back up with blood. If they don't, you put it on too tight, take it off, do it again.